today is a very sad day. Today, uh, the lands of North America are filled with depression and dismay. As Bandai announced something so heinous, something just completely volatile and destructive, that impacts all of us card players, and not just the Digimon players, no. All the Bandai card games in North America that were going to be at Bandai Card Fest. Bandai really... But I think Bandai just decided to have a moment and said, how could we make things worse? And this is what they came up with. Like, you have to actively try to do things this stupid in order to do them. Like, you have to actually think about it in that lens. And it's insane to me. So we're going to go over the news, which I'm sure a lot of you know by now. And you, I, you guys tell me. Maybe I'm wrong. I want you to let me know in the comments if you think this is a good thing, or if this is a bad thing, or if it doesn't matter. And let me know your reasoning as to why or why not. And of course, like and subscribe. Let's just... Let's take it from the horse's mouth, the Eggman. Yes. I worded that that way. Mr. The Eggman. It looks like none of the Card Fest games are going to be live streamed this year. This is an incredible loss for all of the Bandai card game communities. I understand limitations slash constraints, but as someone who has done a lot of in-person coverage personally, it's boggling. All right. This was reacted to this thread which came out, this, this tweet in Dragon Ball, uh, the, the official Dragon Ball page. Uh, this event will be held offline at the Los Angeles Convention Center. There will be no live streams on the day of the event. Now, this obviously got people kind of curious and intrigued. Like, oh, interesting. And, you know, if it was just Dragon Ball, I hate to be that guy, but it would make sense. So sorry, Dragon Ball lover. I know. I, I know you love your Dragon Balls. I know they're super. I get that. And it would have made sense. But it didn't stop there. This guy here, whoever this is, some reputable guy, said to confirm that Battle Hour and other Card Fest events will be not streamed, well, or whatever, due to costs, venue, internet, out of control price. It'll be recorded, um, but not live, to which this came in. Now, so yeah, the, the TLDR, none of the card games in the tournaments that are occurring at Bandai Card Fest are being streamed anywhere live. They are not. Not even One Piece. You know, I was half expecting when people told me this, that it was just going to be One Piece will be fine and everyone else gets screwed. That's what I expected, because One Piece is their love child. But no, even One Piece got the shaft, which to me is insane. I never thought I'd see the day. So that means this came from Big Bandai, which is interesting. So let's actually break, break this down, okay? This announcement is so deranged, so out there, so inappropriate for the community that even the band... How do I want to word this? The people who suck up... That's not even... Oh, fuck it. The people who suck up to Bandai, who like to stay in Bandai's good good graces that pray and bend their knee to the altar of Bandai. Even these people on social media, and not just this guy, but all these people have not had anything good to say. Not a single one. That's how you know Bandai fucked up. Bandai actually told the card game community, oh, you want uh, live coverage? How about you go fuck yourselves? They actually used those words. And I find it completely rude that Bandai used those words with us. Because we spend a lot of money and spend a lot of time playing these card games. And people were expecting a stream for all of them. Or at least the big ones. At least One Piece, honestly. Nothing. 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 How many times can I say the word nothing? Actually nothing. And let's break it down further. I understand that internet at a convention center 
for trying to stream multiple tournaments like One Piece, Digimon, BSS, maybe DBS. I understand that that's expensive. I I know. I've looked into this because I've been think as you guys may know, I've thought about holding some IRL big tournaments, cash prizes and streaming them from the convention center. I know it's expensive and I've looked at little convention centers, not fucking Los Angeles, California where it costs $4,000 to breathe. You know what I mean? I, I don't know where I came with the number, but I think my point is made with that. And it's dumb. Like, why did they pick Los Angeles? Why did they not think about internet costs? Why are they screwing the players? Why don't they use their brain cells? Bandai makes billions. They make a lot of money. Bandai is not a mom and pop small company out of some corner store. This is a huge organization. And they fucked all of us. They fucked me. They fucked you. They fucked this guy. They fucked all of you. They fucked everyone with this. Um, me, see, I'm not, I don't, I don't really, this is my type of video. Because this channel is built on the premise of, you know, di nowadays, Digimon. Nowadays, companies and markets and blah, 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 blah in relation to card things and the decisions that Bandai makes, good or bad, I've shut it up both. This is obviously a really bad one. This this is insane. I, I can't stop saying that. I'm actually bewildered that they made such a five-headed decision like this. And I'm using the term five-headed, obviously, sarcastically, for in any case, if anyone was wondering. What is the solution? Well, if you want to save money, how about you get out of LA? It's too late now. The damage is done. GG's. It's over. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because now they're, now they're locked into it. Now they can't do anything about it. I'm hoping, praying for the players that everyone is complaining. Maybe Bandai will change their mind in time for this. Because it's not like they can afford it. They can afford it. I promise. They will not go bankrupt if they, if they you know allow internet for a weekend to stream, it will not bankrupt Bandai. I promise. Which is, it, it, like, it's Bandai Card Fest, man. You know, this is meant to be a celebration of Bandai card games. This is meant to be a showcase of what Bandai has to offer to the world for card games. And they're not even streaming it! H how does that make sense? How are you supposed to showcase to the world what you're all about if you can't stream the stuff, hello? Yeah, pre-recorded recordings are nice. Okay, sure. It's better than zero, but that's not what people want. People want to see the stuff live. These types of things have so many Twitch views, so many YouTube views, so many views. People are all over the internet. It's just ludicrous. But Bandai probably made a decision like, you know what? We don't want to pay for internet. We don't want to pay for the equipment to stream. We don't want to pay commentators to commentate. Probably. Unless they're commentating pre-recorded games or whatever. I don't know. They probably don't want to pay for it. They probably don't want to pay this guy to stream for two days. Which I can't blame them. Bandai is a very frugal company when it comes to that kind of stuff. You know, there's a big difference between commentating a... Uh, like a little regionals and nationals. The big difference. Big difference. And like they've done it before. Like they did Digimon last year, but it's like they tried to do everything. Digimon plus one piece plus plus BSS plus DBS and they failed miserably. It's like they realized, oh shit, we're in over our heads. We can't actually do this. Which is exactly what happened. The worst part, though, is that they can do it because they can't afford it. They can do it. Anyway, this is obviously a very terrible announcement. This is probably the worst thing I've read in 2024 so far. Uh, I know the year is just starting, I, but this is a big slap in the face to competitive and even casual Digimon, One Piece, BSS, and DBS players who just want to watch Nationals or their respective tournament for the games to kind of get some coverage, to learn, to have fun, to enjoy... 
and Bandai robbed everyone the opportunity for this. And it's depressing. It's really sad. I, I, I'm I happy I'm not going to Nationals. I'm happy. Because Bandai just continues to make it clear, little by little, that they don't really care about the players. Yeah, we'll take your money. We'll take your money. Bandai will bend you over and milk you for everything you got. They'll take all your money. But they can't spend a little bit of money one weekend of the year to give the players an enjoyable and wonderful experience for their card fest come on that doesn't make sense to me so i'm happy i'm not going i'm sure people won't like not go to this because it won't be streamed or whatever but like la is expensive people aren't going just because it's la and because it's expensive like that's a thing that's literally a thing that's happening i don't know um maybe it has something to do with the to running them too i have no idea i'm not going to speculate on things i don't know there's a lot, I bet there's a lot of variables at play here, and none of them are good. There are no good angles. All the camera angles for this are wrong. Inappropriate, disgusting, vulgar, and just uh, a disgrace and shame for Bandai. I'm disappointed. Actually disappointed. Not disappointed for the sake of over-dramatizing a video, but actually disappointed. This is cringe. Very bad. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. This massive Bandai L to start the year.